fighting the system like a two modern day Robin Hood. everyone, time again for another Ramblin' and Pickup video. Uh, this past week I went to Detroit. I visited a couple of my favorite stores up there, Destiny Games and Retro Taku. Made a couple pickups while I was up in the area. Also hit some flea markets over this Labor Day weekend and found some other cool stuff as well. So nothing really major, nothing really exciting actually. Just some cool stuff I found that I want to add to my collection. Uh, lately, I've been really into playing Battlefield 1 on my PS4, the open beta that just came out. Uh, I die a lot, but hey, I, I still have a good time playing it. I really I like the destructible environments in it. and I like driving the tanks around mostly. I, I really dig that. It's a lot of fun. But other than that, I've not really been doing a whole lot of other stuff. So let's uh, get into uh, the pickups here. Uh, first up... I found a really nice Atari cartridge storage case. Pretty cool. Holds eight Atari cartridges. Pretty awesome. These things are pretty cool. I'm thinking about putting my Coleco branded Atari 2600 cartridges in this to, to keep them. I don't know what I want to do with that. I, I could have passed it up. That was up at Destiny Games. It was cheap, so I just picked it up. I uh, also picked up a 24th anniversary Konami, Konami, little LCD Star Trek game. Uh, it's it's kind of neat. Uh, it talks to you. Uh, the level I like the best is at the very beginning. We got the shield that you rotate around the ship, and you got to wait till your photon banks charge, and you can shoot a photon back out at the Klingon cruisers. Kind of reminds me of Space Zap a little bit, the arcade game. Uh, has a, some different little levels in there. It's it's not too bad. I really don't collect LCD games, like I said, but this is kind of cool. It's Star Trek themed. I thought it was kind of neat, so I went ahead and picked it up. Also found a Back to the Future Hot Wheel, the time machine. Pretty awesome. Hang that up on the wall. I don't really collect Hot Wheels, like I said earlier, but I run across a movie, a vehicle or something like that made by Hot Wheels. I'll probably pick it up the heck by the wall because there's some movie cars I really like. Also picked up a spare 3D adapter for the Sega Master System 3D glasses. I did test this out with my glasses. It does work, so that's kind of nice to have a little spare. You'll never know just in case. Found another little LCD pinball game made by Tiger. It's a uh, it's it's a Tiger pinball game. <laughs> it's Kind of hard to see that ball moving around on that screen, and uh, huh, it was interesting. I picked it up because it was pinball. I'm not going to keep that. I'll probably send it to somebody. I picked up another pinball game for my Game Boy Color. This one's called Hollywood Pinball. That's a import game. Uh, basically, the pinball tables are movie theme. Like they have one called Galaxy Wars, which is like Star Trek or Star Wars, uh, Aztec something, which be Indiana Jones, and the table I'm playing back here is Shark Attack, which is basically Jaws. It plays the Jaws music in the background as you play. It's a neat little pinball game. I'll be doing a video on this in the near future. Also picked up Scooby Doo Maze Madness for the and television ECS system. I don't have an ECS, so I can't really try this game out or anything. Uh, I got this at Retro Taku, and the guy told me they tested it, and it is Scooby-Doo Maze Madness, because it does have a label on here. It just says Scooby-Doo Maze Madness. So it was $4.95. So I took the chance. Eventually I'll get an ECS. I'll try it out to see if it's actually on here. But I believe the guys at Retro Taku, that they told me it's on there, so I believe them it's on there. And I found some neat VIC-20 paddle controllers. Commodore. These are kind of cool. I like the color scheme on these. Uh, they're, they're really nice. I tried them out on my Atari 2600 playing Breakout. 
no jitters at all. Pretty rock solid. So it's a neat little pair of controllers from the Commodore VIC-20. Kind of cool. And then I found this, this heady beady joystick. Heady beady guy. He's a, uh, he's called the power stick. Look how small this thing is. Holy moly, that thing is dinky. Heady beady. However, it's extremely responsive. Uh, I'm pretty happy with this little stick. It works really well. I've been using it on my Atari 2600 and also on my Atari 8-bit computer. So yeah, that, that was a pretty cool find. It's a neat little joystick. And I made some pickups for my Sony PlayStation 1 collection. First thing I picked up was Midway's Greatest Arcade Hits, the Atari Collection, number two. Pretty cool. It's got six games on here. And now, my favorite game on here, of course, is going to be Gauntlet. My wife likes Road Blasters, so it's a win-win on this thing. Games play pretty good. I, I like I don't like using a little directional pad on the PS1 controller. I like using the analog stick. I just wish this had analog control on it. Uh, other than that, it's okay. It's not too bad. I got it cheap, too. It was like $2.99. So I can't complain about that. Next thing I picked up was the Dukes of Hazard Racing for Home. Basically, it's a Dukes of Hazard racing game. It, it's kind of neat. You have like a time trial you do. You have Edis chasing you in a cop car. You try to get away from him. Bunch of other things. You got jumps and all that good stuff like you see from the TV series. It's an okay racing game. It's a little floaty. The cars are kind of floaty on here. When, when you hit a something, they kind of float up in the air a little bit and kind of bounce around. It's very strange physics. But it's Dukes of Hazard. It's pretty cool. And then the next thing I picked up was a collection of classic games of, for the Intellivision, of the Intellivision. Awesome. This is a really neat little CD. It's got like uh, some video interviews on here with Keith Robinson and Dave Warhol and some other guys. It's got a nice collection of games on here. It's got 30 games. Of course, you know, Astro Smash. I love Astro Smash. It also has Space of Mart on here, which is really cool. Really cool. Star Strike, Snafu's on here. Pretty awesome. <laughs> Stadium Mud Buggies. It's a fun little racing game. Of course, it has Auto Race, which I used to play Auto Race at the service merchandise where they had the Intellivision set up as a, on a display. I love playing that Auto Race game. A bunch of other games on like It has 30 in total on here. Pretty awesome. And then the last thing I picked up was Konami Arcade Classics. Awesome. I've been looking for this bad boy for a while, but I was going to spend 40 or $50 to pick one up. Uh, I got a real good deal on this one, so I'm pretty happy about that. But it has a, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 Konami games on here. It has Puyan, Circus Charlie, Shaolin, whoops, a shake, no, so, so, Shaolin's Road, Rock and Rope, that's a fun arcade game, Yai R Kung Fu, Scramble, Road Fighter, Super Cobra, Gyrus, and Time Pilot. Awesome. I love the arcade game Gyrus. It's kind of like a mashup of Tempest and Galaga. Two, probably one of my all-time favorite arcade games, mashed into one. <laughs> so I'm pretty happy with this find here. It's, this is a really cool uh, disc to have in my Sony PlayStation collection. Pretty happy about that. And then the last thing I got a hold of. Now this came from uh, Binary Star Software. Picked up Death Chase for my Vetrix. But wait, there's more! It also has Nox, which is a racing game. Like Super Sprint. This game is incredible. Uh, I like Death Chase, the arcade game. 
And Chris over at Binary Star Software did a heck of a job porting Death, Death Race over to the Vetrix. It even comes with its own overlay. That is really freaking awesome. Uh, the gameplay is really nice. You can use the Vetrix controller. You can use a driving controller on it. Uh, Atari 2600 driving controller on it. You also use this special controller I guess he's going to make uh, that has like, you know, a paddle on it. I mean, a driving spinner and a couple buttons and stuff like that for Death Chase and for also for Knox. Comes with a really nice manual. And of course, Knox has its own overlay as well. Now, the game Knox, it's a lot like Super Sprint in the arcades. Uh, I can't play the game worth a darn. I could probably play it better if I used a driving controller instead of using the analog stick on the Vetrix. Because uh, that's, I have a little problem playing driving games with an analog stick for some reason. As you can see, I'm bouncing all over the screen on that racetrack back there. But yeah, this is, uh, this is very impressive on Binary Star Software. I think it was like $50, so it wasn't too bad of a price. Comes in a real nice package. It has this hard uh, foam-like stuff that holds the cartridge in place. And it makes the package nice and sturdy. Doesn't really compress very much. And I love the artwork on this thing. I'll be doing a full video on this uh, cartridge here in the near future where I'll show the overlays and the manuals and I'll talk about the different games and do some gameplay and stuff like that. So you should see that very soon on the Vetrix Radio. So that's it. So that's all the pickups for this uh, this week. Uh, next week I'm going down to Memphis, Tennessee. See what kind of trouble I get into down there. So until next time, keep on gaming.